Hey everybody, I want to show you quickly how to use BoxNet to embed a document in your Weebly. It's pretty cool, pretty easy. Okay, so you'll go to box.com. Actually, it used to be called box.net, so if I refer to it the wrong way, it's just, you'll get to the same website whether you type in www.box.com or box.net. Um, either one will take you. I think they just bought everything that was box.anything. Anyway, all right, back to task. So you will log in. You'll get uh, set up a free account. You will come to your files, which will be blank because you haven't uploaded anything yet. And what I would recommend is from the start, make a folder for each thing so you know uh, you're kind of organized. You'll be surprised how quickly things become um, confusing in here. You'll, you may use this more than you realize. So right here under New, you can click Folder and that's how you create um, the folders. And so I already created one here called Computers. Uploading a file in here is very easy. Um, the reason we're going to upload the file is because I want to embed it in my Weebly so it looks like a picture instead of a, a document. Um, this is the box that you enables you to make it full screen and read something without actually having to download it. Alright, so we'll go to Upload. I will go out and find the document. Um, this is just a sample, so I'll use this for here. And it starts uploading it right away, which is really cool because it's actually really fast. Boom, done. So I'm going to click on the document. It'll show me what it looks like. And the embed code that you're going to copy, and I know I'm throwing a lot of words here that are maybe a little different, but just hang with me. Um, to get the embed code, you're going to click right here where it says link to get a link to the file. Actually, you don't want that link. You are going to click right here where it says Embed. Now, this looks very confusing and there's all these letters down here that don't make sense to anyone, or if they do, well, you're special. But um, to me, they make no sense, except for height and width and height kind of must be the size. But anyway, click in the box. The whole thing will highlight for you. Make it easy. Copy to my clipboard, which is which is the same as um, right click copy. Alright, so it's copied to my clipboard. I can close that. I'm going to flip to my Weebly here in this tab. Alright, so this is my Weebly Carol Billing ePortfolio. I have a home section. I have a Word section with a couple of sub pages. So let's go to the portfolio page. I think I was actually on that. So I'm at the portfolio page, which is confusing because it doesn't say portfolio. So let's change that. Um, we'll go with a title. Okay. And just to double check, I'm going to go here to flyer. Nothing on the flyer here. Portfolio. There it is. Okay. And to embed that document, I'm going to grab custom HTML. And I'm going to drop it right below. So it looks like it's laying over it, but it's actually right below it. I'm going to click inside and delete all of that. And then I'm going to use my paste function. And there's that embed code from the other website, from box.com. All right, I'm going to click on the outside of the box. And then it's going to go ahead and show me what it's going to look like. Dun, 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 dun. Beautiful embedded document and so this lets you full screen or print which is handy and let's say I was done with my website I could click publish and um, this little guy right here will take you to the page actually so this is what someone coming to my website would see so there is this is the home page right I don't have anything on there yet we'll go word portfolio and there's my little title and my document Fabulously easy. Less than five minutes, you've learned how to embed a document. Congratulations. Can't wait to see what you do with that. See you in class.